Now, our tech tips today will walk you through three ways to reduce phone radiation. Is phone radiation dangerous to human health? I've been asked this question a number of times and I'm aware that a number of studies have been published for and against and as such, experts have not come to an agreement on this. However, a judge has ordered the California Department of Public Health to release a somewhat secret document following a suit by a guy named Joel Moskowitz, a director at the University of California Berkeley School of Public Health. The document titled Cell Phones and Health is an advisory about the dangers of phone radiation, exposure and ways to reduce its effects. So here are three important advice based on the document. First. The document advises you should not sleep with your phone or carry it in your pocket or directly on your body unless the phone is off. Two, it says you should increase the distance between your cell phone and your body by using the speaker phone or a headset. Also note that Bluetooth headset also contains some sort of EMF but they are much weaker. Three, it says keep your calls short. Use the speaker phone for longer conversations. Take off wireless headset when not in use and also do not rely on gadgets that claim to protect you from phone EMFs. Finally, it has the general advice for children and teenagers also and that is they are more sensitive to radiation because their brains are still developing. What the document basically states in summary is that your exposure to a phone EMF depends on your distance from the phone, the strength of the EMF and how long and how often you use the phone. Therefore, the farther away the phone is from your body, the less the exposure. Our goal is certainly not to scare you in any way, but to keep you informed based on the latest development, which is why we bring you this show weekly.